Right, off we go. Let's go and find this uh, uh, Faherty chap. I believe he's down here. Down here somewhere. Wow, this looks complicated. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? We're trying to get to there. There's quite a few boxes. Is it... Are we better off going for the boxes? Probably. Yeah, probably. That's gone up to start that. Shit, we have to do that one. Okay, this isn't good. Just grab that. Just grab that. It's fine. It's fine. We've got two boxes. Okay. Down we go. Ah. <sighs> Come on. There we are. Thank you. Strange that there's no stairs going down here. Strange that there's no stairs. So this is this is where the morgue is. I don't know if this is all the morgue down here. It certainly doesn't look like it. Why would they bother with uh, this sophisticated machinery, presumably to keep people alive, if it's just the morgue? Yeah. Well, he looks alive, doesn't he? Looks like he's in pain. They're all moving around. They all look like they're in pain. What's going on? All this talk about hazardous materials. You alright, mate? Yeah, he's fine. These are your painkillers. Do you mind if I... Ah, why well, you keep them. Right, what is that? There's an Asian woman, is she? You think she's subject? Is it 521? Yeah, she's really in pain, isn't she? Augmentation Codex Master. Right, so what do we have here? Much the same, yeah? What are they doing here? No clues, no clues as to what's going on. It's fine. I'm sure we can piece things together. This place is huge. Got big place here. This was that sort of <laughs> Why Is that the odd or the they 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 talked about there was an auditorium. That's surely the auditorium, right? Because it looks like so maybe it's like seats up here, like looking down. And you could look down there from up here. So that's surely an auditorium. It's surely not like a surgery or something like that. It must be viewable by, you know, viewable by the public. A bit like, uh, what's that guy? The German, the German doctor, Gunther, someone used to, used to be on TV uh, in the 2000s. He would, uh, he would, um, what, 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 what do you call it? He would do like anatomy lessons. He would, uh, basically cut, he like cut people up, uh, on TV. Uh, it was all legitimate. He wasn't like cutting up random people. These were dead bodies, people who'd, you know, given the body to science and he would uh, sort of, uh, you know, open them up and show you, show you what people look like inside, basically. Gunther Herrmann, something like that? I can't remember his name. It was a fantastic show. It was really, 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 really interesting. Really, uh, really interesting guy to host it as well. But yeah, he had, uh, he had a situation much like what I think we have in there, where his uh, sort of surgical bed was in the uh, uh, the uh, bottom of a 
uh, bottom of an auditorium. People could look down, sort of like a Greek amphitheater, that kind of idea. This has got to be the morgue, yeah. Fuck. Whoa, that's a lot of people, man. That is a lot of people. Oh, I haven't done this in ages. Here we go, come on. Whap. Uh, yeah, let's take that thing again. What's the, the rebreather, yeah? So, we can sprint for longer periods of time and we are immune to toxic gas and gas grenades. There we go. Great. Nice. Nothing here. Aha. Where the hell does this go? way for us to bypass that turret. Okay. So that's, that will take us to that corridor where the turret is. I wonder if we can break through this wall, get in here. We know we have to go upstairs, we know there's someone up there. I don't know where the last person is. Probably over there? No, well, we've been over there. Ah, upstairs again. So also, once we get in this building, I wonder if there's going to be some kind of security compu computer that we can use to... Uh, we can use to get that turret on our side. That would certainly make that little corridor outside a lot easier. Well, I mean, I've not really seen anything suspicious here. It doesn't... I get the impression that it's... This isn't quite legit what they're doing, but we haven't really seen any evidence yet. Maybe this will change things. This is... Th th this, this is uh, Farty's computer. What will we find here? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. That was 15%, man. 15%. No way should we be getting caught 50%. There we go. Take that, take that, and there we are. Access granted. Right. Oh, this is from F Sevchenko. Declan, my old friend, you were right about the GPL implants, these bastards are using them to track us. And they'll continue to do so unless we can shut down their tracking and jamming protocols. Feel up to another angina attack? Because we need to discuss this in person. Wow. Yeah, so Sivchenko is the uh, one who has personality issues, right? Probably anti-authoritarian. He doesn't like being told what to do, he knows something's wrong. Doesn't like being held here. They're He knows. He knows they're being. He knows they're. Pro. They're, are they? Are they prisoner? Are they here or voluntarily? It doesn't sound like it from what he's saying here. And uh, it looks like Farte has been. Uh, uh, been um, uh, feigning uh, heart attacks. In order for them to, for Sevchenko to sort him out, I guess, and the two of them could talk in person. Interesting. What is more interesting is look at Jeanette's email there. 
She's uploaded a profile picture to her account. That seems a little bit strange. That seems a little bit strange. Why would... Why? Have we ever seen an email account in this game that's had a picture like that before? I don't remember. If there have been, there haven't been many. Why? Why does she upload her picture to this account? She's fucking in on this. She's the one who fucking set this up, that bitch. I knew it, man. I knew it. As soon as the first day I mentioned it, I said, she's gonna set, she's gonna set up all her friends at work and have them all taken prisoner onto some, onto some facility in the middle of nowhere and uh, have them all do all these horrible genetic experiments on people and she's gonna be the one behind it. I knew that as soon as I met her. First day I met her, I knew that. But that's what she's up to. Right. Farty says, Megan. Sorry. <laughs> Jeanette. I'm really getting worried about the signal pattern they got me working on. If it's truly meant to transmit software upgrades to limb patients, why do they want it to broadcast wideband across multiple frequencies simultaneously? And what exactly is it going to trans... Fucking knew it. It's not the software upgrades. This is uh, this is that thing that that hit us when we were in Hangshaw. Hit the whole world. They're the they they're the ones broadcasting it. I thought TYM was behind it, but it looks like it's these people. I know these wankers are probably monitor are probably monitoring every email I send you, but I can't ignore my gut. Spoken like a true Irishman. I know these wankers. Great word. Great word. For some reason I'm reminded of Delgado's work with electrical stimulation in the brain. Am I wrong to think there's a connection? Delgado, Delgado. What does Jeanette have to say for herself? I know you're nervous, Declan. And to be honest, I am too, but Delgado's work centred on the use of electrical signals to evoke emotional responses, responses in the brain. He was targeting the amygdala and hippocampus. He assures, <laughs> assures me we're not doing that, and I trust him. For reasons I'll explain when I can. Until then, please, don't risk yourself by sending me emails like this one. Stick to research questions only, because you're right. I'm sure they are monitoring every word we type. She's maybe not in on it, I don't know. She says she's nervous. She says there's a reason for it. I'll explain when I can. I mean, is this another destiny? I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to explain? I don't know. Why she got her picture uploaded to a profile? No one else does. Very strange. Very strange. Drop off procedure. Register patient number and log file. State reason. Indicate log time. Fill out toe tags. Fix warning label if contamination is suspected. See vault ex seal vault exterior fully to prevent release of dangerous material to environment. Form path MD when body is ready for autopsy. Right. Let's go see what this wanker's been up to. Yeah, look, this is a spectating gallery. Why do they have these chairs? Why would they have chairs like that? Look how high tech, a high tech medical facility. And they think they're being cool because they got these Victorian chairs. Fucking posers. Look at this. Who gets to sit here? The fucking king of the castle. What have you been doing, Farty? What have you been doing here, Declan? What have you been up to? You better have a good explanation for this, mate. Right. 
Right. Let's hear it. Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? But do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. Oh. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. Really? What about Dr. Reed? Her GPL signal isn't broadcasting. Do you know where she is? In the secured zone. You'll never get in there. Too many guards. A distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs. Ah, a bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network, disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. Okay. You're the least Irish Irishman I've ever spoken to. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. Yeah. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. <laughs> oh, I love that word. Thank you, Farty. Thank you very much. Right. How about Nia? Have you seen Nia Colvin lately? I haven't found her yet. Well, they've done a good job keeping us all separated, but I suspect she'll be in the microgen building. There's a skywalk connecting a Palpatine. the two buildings. If you can find it, you won't have to go back outside. Palpatine, not a sky... She's a Palpatine, not a Skywalker. Palpatine. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. Eric showed an amazing bit of courage a few weeks back. Slipped a note into one of the project reports, telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. Third floor. Really? Third floor. You're going to stick with that statement? Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Third floor. Third floor. Because that's not the third floor. An Irishman would not call that the third floor. That is the second floor. Here in the UK, floor one, we call this the ground floor. The next floor above ground is the first floor. It's the first floor above ground. The next one is floor, the second floor. An Irishman would not call this the third floor. But then again, you know, he's he's lived in America for a while. He's talking to an American, so probably using their system. Right, okay. Let's get across to the microgen building. Uh, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to stay away from the Palpatine. Uh, because I'm just gonna get into another Star Wars rant if I get talking about if I get talking about that again and let's just uh, won't subject you to another 
another one of those. But seriously, man, they're missing out on so much potential. There's so much drama and conflict that would have that would have came about had Rey uh, been proud of her Palpatine heritage. You didn't have to be proud of what he did, but to be proud of where like, where she came from. You can be you can be uh, you can be proud of your country, even if it's done bad things in the past. You can still be proud of where you came from. And be proud about your family, even if they always haven't acted in the best way. Yeah, we want to rewrite history because she's a good person. She's automatically a Skywalker. I think we can take this guy out and pull his body uh, backwards, but we'll have to do it when the. Uh, Patrolling guard in the center is walking away. Actually, we don't have to pull him back too far, we just have to pull him behind this here. Good, the other guy's walking away too. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Don't! Jensen! Fuck. Okay, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Ah, uh, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? There's no way we can take that guy down. There's no way we can take him down. Way too much armor. Way too much armor. Just, Jensen! Right, so he's going to... He's going to walk away and turn and look back. So, let's leave him... Let's leave him to walk away. Let's leave him to turn back. There he goes, they're both turning back, and now they're both turning round again, and now we go. There we are. Whap. Okay, good. And let's drag him! There we go. Don't turn! <sighs> Quickly, Jensen. Let's get him, just get him far away, far away as we can. Keep going, keep going, mate. Keep it going. Keep going, mate. Still two left. We could hack the turret. So tempting. In fact, yeah, let's hack the turret. Let's hack the turret, come on. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, Jensen, quickly. taken a while. Not gonna worry about the boxes, let's just get... Actually, I do want the boxes. Oh crap, we have to go this way. Nook, just nook it. Access Quickly. Granted. Got it, got it. Right, uh, enemies, enemies, get down. Not so nice, is it? When the shoe's on the other foot, mate. Not so nice. Okay, from Casper Donato. Uh, we recently received a new shipment of hardware from HQ. It's heavy duty weaponry, so we've placed it all in secure storage near Hangar 1. Until further orders are given, the equipment is for emergency use only. If I see any of you jackals looking for field upgrades, I'll have your hides. Okay. Now, what can we see on this? Where's that? Don't know. Uh, 
That's it. Come on. Step in front of the turret. Step in front of the turret. Turret, do your work. I'm gonna find you. Do your work, turret. Do your work. Turret. Shit. Uh. Wap. God, I hate turrets. Why did it work? Did I switch it or something? Still enemies. Strange. Alright, let's get our bearings. That's where we found uh, Farty in there. I believe that's the building we came out of in the beginning. So this is the microgen building. We're going to stay away from the Palpatine. Don't see anyone in there. Okay. Right, we're in. Microgen lab, right. First floor, storage rooms and reception. Offices and security, and then the laboratory on the third floor. Okay. Okay, what are we looking at here? Fairly linear place. We'll check out the crown floor first. That's where we would punch through had we came the other way. That's how we get upstairs. And that's how we get up to the next floor, okay. We could take the elevator. And I suppose this... Where did they say Jeanette was? In the secure lab, something like that? I suppose that's where she is. E. Blake. Heard that name. Okay, straightforward. Let's go straight across here. There we are. Access granted. There we are, very nice. Right, from Samuel Bavnani. Uh, Atlantic Quarterly. He E Ewan. You see the latest issue of Atlantic Quarterly, they wrote an article about the old ranch back when it was still called the Disease Control Initiative and owned by the WHO. In particular, they go into great detail concerning the H5N1 disaster and its lasting effects on the region. Really fascinating, you should check it out. Swing by my desk if you want my copy. P.S. Do you ever get the feeling we're also sitting on a ticking time bomb? Yeah, so it's some sort of disease control. Why was that red? Can someone from maintenance get down to loading base C and clean up the old DCI lab? But we did read that. Go cool. 182 credits, nice. Right. Decontamination. Let's do this. Oh, I see someone over there. Two people on the ground floor, one person on top. Can we just... We've got a breach. No. No is the answer to that question. No is the answer to that question. Okay, okay, we need, we need, a, we need a, a weapon here. Uh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Where's my weapon? Let's try that again. Uh, there's a camera up at the back there. Ooh, 
Where do we need to be? Is this how we really want to do this? Because I think we can come in from that side. Let's try it. Let's see what. Let's see what the other. Let's see what the other way. Uh, what the other way gives us. Let's see what options we get. Uh, there's about to be a computer connected to that camera. We can turn off. There's maybe even a friendly little robot. Or turret. There's where we want to break through there. World Health Organization. Okay. Then this. Okay, we will check this later. I don't know what we're going to find up here. Ah, uh, nothing important. You're a robot. It's friendly. There. That's on our side. We turned that one. That's good. Shame we can't take it with us. Right, what do we have here? Wap. Okay, uh, well, nothing in this room. Hazardous material. Plenty of warnings. Looking for vents. there. It's got the same, uh, it's got the same, uh, drop-off procedures as the morgue. Surely they wouldn't have two morgues. Maybe this is if there's a suspected biohazard. Check signs of contamination. If contamination is suspected, personal protective equipment must be donned. Do not autopsy internally contaminated bodies unless necessary. During an autopsy, please be aware that other more acutely hazardous agents may also be present. Upon completion, dispose of bodies properly. Do not cremate internally contaminated corpse. Bodily fluids may be drained into the sewer. These like cleaning units. Okay, so we have a corridor here. That will bring us out to where those guards were patrolling, right? We know there's a PC up there. Why don't we go left first and see what is in those two rooms? Storage rooms, okay. See enemies on the radar, but I think they are upstairs. There is one on this floor, however. That's the lobby. Okay, just one guard here, that's fine. We can deal with one guard. 
surely right Wap. Okay, anything good in here? Not really. That was maybe a bad idea. We don't want to create unnecessary noise, but I think we got away with it. Trank darts, that's all that's in here. Nothing in these storage rooms, okay. Okay, can we hack in here for some XP? I need more Praxis kits to hoard. Done. Access granted. Now, where do you come out? Okay. Cannot go any higher. This takes us to the uh, first floor. The uh, UK first floor, by the way. Can't really tell who that is. Could that be Nia, do you think? Let's see how the lobby looks from this side. Right, it's two ways in. Yes, there's that computer. We can turn the camera off. That computer. Two guards? <laughs> we finished the animation standing on the chair. This was a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Quickly. Quickly, Jensen, where are we going? Okay, pretty simple. I've got a possible visual. Shit. Whoops. Okay, hopefully that will Okay, yeah, he's coming this way. You're gonna come up here. That would help us if he came up here. Oh thank you. And also WAP. Thank you. All right, there we are. This is looking good. Right, let's hack this. No rush. No rush. Hmm. 
There we are. Access granted. Ah, no friendly robots, no turrets. So that's the camera. That's the camera in the lobby. Where's that one? That must be upstairs. It's probably where the Palpatine comes out. Ah, that means there's probably people who could overlook us here, so let's maybe not get too complacent down there. Why don't we go and find out what awaits us up here? See how the situation looks here. I don't see anyone else upstairs. Wap. Good evening, Mr. Waltz. Uh, as of today, you'll be starting your new shift patrolling the Microgen Labs. There's your username and password, Ruckus. So... Quite a bit to see up here. There's... There's that office we saw as we came through the grate. I'm pretty sure it was that one. See everything downstairs. Why don't we just go and check the Palpatine, see where it comes out. Check these rooms. Uh, we can go check these, then we'll maybe see if we've got time. See if we can check out Nia as well. Uh, is there anything down here to really go and look at? Is that a pocket secretary? Did I pick that up? Shit. From Alexander Poirot. Just a heads up, I changed the access code to the old WHO storage room due to faulty VRAM on the keypad. Okay. He's moving around upstairs. Don't know where he is. Two of them. Two of them moving around upstairs. <gasps> okay, right, he's right there. <sighs> there? No! Hey, what happened? Come on, come on, come on. Just take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse! Jensen! 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 Must have saw the bodies, that's why he ran. Well, this should work out nice. He should come down this way. Whap. Got him. Okay. There we are. Very nice. Right, so someone up here in white, that's probably, probably Nia, that's probably who we're looking for. I think we might be safe. Okay, that takes us right to the lab. Right, that's fine. Check these offices. Yeah, let's see what uh, see what we have in here. Already open. Someone in here.
He's asleep. <laughs> there we go. Don't sleep on the job. From Casper Donato. Here's a new code for Colvin's office. Wow, they keep her locked in her office. Please try to keep this confidential. We've already received complaints from, from her concerning privacy and some stolen underwear. I know it's a sausage fest here on the ranch, but let's try to respect the few women we have under our protection, alright? Oh, man, what? That's... I never understood that, man. The sick fucks that steal underwear off the washing line and shit like that. What the fuck is that about? Right, Stephen Higgins wrote, Sir, you asked me to keep a close eye on electronic communication between our five newest arrivals. For the most part, they seem to be sticking to the guidelines you laid out, although there have been a few questionable comments directed to the team leader. I'm not too worried, because you always warn them off immediately. Isolation seems to be working. For everyone except the Russian, that is, Sevchenko. He's attempted more than once to hack through our restriction protocols and get messages to the others. I'm sus I suspect he's going to become a serious problem of keeping an eye on him. Very good, Lieutenant. Keep me appraised. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. For now. Wow, that's something good. Like, uh, uh, who's that guy? Yuri. Uh, that ex KGB defector. It's a series of lectures he gave in the 80s all about all about subversion, uh, breaking the enemy's resistance without actually fighting them. What's his name again? He came up recently. Uh, he was featured in one of the new Call of Duty games trailers. Can't remember his name. Very interesting lecture. Very interesting to watch. So. Yeah, Jeanette has been... They've been asking questions to Jeanette and she's been saying, shut up, don't talk about it. Why? Because she cares for their safety? Or because... She wants... She, because she's behind this. Hey boss. Just a heads up, but Contrella's email account is getting Nigerian spam again. She swears she hasn't been using tunneling software or anything to access restricted off-site pages and her logs check out clean. Advice? How the fuck are we still getting Nigerian spam mail? Higgins, wait to double check the proxy stack and make sure it's operating on spec. If our security has been compromised in any way, I want to know about it. Now, we're sitting on some sensitive data here, boys, and Nigerians will be the least of our worries. Our network is breached. Okay, it's probably the security hub. Okay, very straightforward. Access granted. So, oh, who's that? One of them will be Nia's corridor. Both off now. Right, so this is the Palpatine. And we know where that comes out. Down there, into the lobby of the other building. Okay, great. Great. Someone round this corner. 
Ah, this is the guy we saw on the uh, camera. Okay. Anything good? Oh, that's the... That's the elevator. There's another way up to the next floor. I guess it's just another way we could we could have gone up. But we need the strength augments to get in there. Just another path, I suppose. Right, Hudaro or not. Delgado. Oh, there's Delgado. And the Stemosiever. Uh, excerpt from a lecture given by Hugh Darrow. I'd like to tell you... I'd like to tell you... Uh, a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you the story how I became the Prince of Bel Air. Oh, no, no, sorry, no. Uh, I'd like to tell you another research story I find absolutely fascinating. This one involves Dr. Jose Manuel Rodriguez Delgado, a Spanish professor of psychology at Yale University. Delgado's research interests centred on using electrical signals to evoke specific responses in the brain. His earliest work was with cats, but later he performed experiments with monkeys and humans. Much of the experiments centers around an invention he called a stimulator, a radio which joined a stimulator of brain waves to a receiver that monitored EEG waves before sending them back on separate radio channels. This allowed the subject of the experiment full freedom of movement while also allowing the experimental to control the experiment. This is weird. <laughs> Actually, I've uh, I just got back from. Uh, an EEG test <laughs> today, actually. I uh, was at the hospital getting my, my brain all hooked up to some wires. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, I suffer from epilepsy. I've been recently recently diagnosed with epilepsy. I was diagnosed this year after, uh, uh, unfortunately, a couple of seizures this year. So getting yeah, some routine tests done to check things out. And yes, I was just... Uh, just up at the... Uh, up at the hospital getting that test done today. Uh, Delgado used the stimulator to stimulate emotions and attempt to control behaviour. Well, he certainly didn't do that with me. In one test involving four patients, he stimulated points in the amygdala and hippocampus to produce a variety of effects, including pleasant sensations, elation, deep, thoughtful concentration, odd feelings, super relaxation, coloured vision and other responses. Delgado later stated that brain transmitters could remain in a person's head for life. The energy to activate the brain transmitter is transmitted by a way of radio frequencies. Huh. Conspiracy theory, what if I have been at the hospital for what I thought was an EEG test but actually my brain has been rewired. Very interesting. Okay, where are we at? This way. Plenty of time. Access granted. Right, so Nia is in the furthest office. I guess that chair is for the guard.
Oh come on man. What is this? Fucking XCOM. It seems strange that all these low 15% ones, I, I understand, right? We're gonna get, if we play this game enough, at 15% we're gonna get caught, right? I get it. It's just that it seems like we tend to get caught on the first one more often than not. If we don't get caught on the first one, we tend not to get caught at all. That's the weird part. From Raymond Duran to Christine Contrella. Simply unbelievable. Mr. D? Why would he call Christine Cantrella Mr. D? Oh, it's about Mr. D. These new samples are simply amazing. The fragments are definitely human but present some peculiar, albeit tacit, particularities. By the way, I have to say, this could be it. This could be the break we've we'll been waiting for. We've started to work on it and so far, fragmentation and legation were not an issue. Fragments were efficiently amplified and vector insertion reacted as expected to DNA legase. Yeah, obviously, as you would expect. I'm having problems with transfection, though it's to be expected and probably linked to the aforementioned singularities. Nothing a bit of work in text can't fix. If we make it, the cells react as planned then we can properly screen and get proper sequencing. It could remove every obstacle we face so far. Even better, we could end up with subjects impervious to bloodstream rejection. This goes far beyond simple augmentation rejection. It can modify augmentation technology as we know it. I think you should inform Mr. Page immediately. Mr. D. Mr. Darrow? I hope you forgive my impetuosity, but I started naming the subjects with the names of the apostles. I believe it's befitting considering the underlying subject and the importance of the leap forward. God, this is so exciting. The Apostles, what, what are you talking about? Mark, Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, that sort of thing. Adam. Adam, the first, the first, first human. Ah, from a good friend, the, uh, the, uh, Nigerian, yes. Oh, come on, man. Look at, look at that. The first one, the first one. That's what I'm talking about, man. Now we won't get caught at all. Access granted. <laughs> Nia Colvin, I presume. 